right. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the little giant in a big forest, or the Tops MSK. And in this video, I'm going to be basically showing you guys, this is more of a show than a tell, explaining to you what, what a proper bushcrafting and survival neck knife should look like and how it should act. If you guys can see, this little dog, this lightweight, or this featherweight, is quite a performer out here in the woods. Now, obviously, it's not going to be able to take on the big CRK Pacific or Buck Thug, but when tasked with it, it can do many different tasks that much larger knives are often tasked to perform. And this little guy, though a featherweight, does them with ease. A few of those reasons are the amazing grind and sharpness of the Topps MSK that allow it to cut deep and to cut hard into wood. But the other thing is, with its small and nimble blade profile, it can easily curve and carve with the best of carving knives. In addition to that, what makes the carving and notching performance on this little blade so incredible is a very comfortable handle and once again a very nice blade profile and blade grind that allow it to be a nimble blade in hand and also a very deep cutting and effective blade at task. So what makes this guy the little giant in the big woods? Well, the little part's pretty obvious. This blade is under 8 inches, so it's a little guy. But what makes it a giant is the fact that it's a strong, robust blade. Many knives of this size range often get often lumped in as very delicate, very precise, very fragile knives. Tops didn't go that route. They made this a fairly thick, full tang blade that can be just as robust and you can just as robust as your primary mainstay fixed blade and be able to perform very heavy duty tasks such as being batoned and having a lot of weight and pressure put on the blade itself. In addition to this, the grind is done so the grind is a convex scandy, which means that unlike a normal zero degree scandy that goes straight to the edge with very little end edge support, this knife has quite a bit of end edge support so that when you are batoning and when you are putting a lot of pressure on the very cutting edge, it's not chipping, it's not rolling, and it's not going to break. Lastly, the part that makes this a giant is the heat treat. Being heat treated at 58 Rockwell, makes this a knife that's going to retain its edge but also not be too brittle and that is what makes it a little giant in this big forest. To the day, while you're going to want to make sure that you don't misplace this guy as it can get easily lost out here between its sheath that allows an effective neck knife carry and its performance, this is one that you will not want to miss out on picking up. Okay guys, I had a hard time saying this is really going to be a review. This is really more an explanation of why I love this little knife called the MSK. And hopefully you guys will learn to love the MSK too. Because if you haven't by now picked one of these little guys up, you should really consider it. They're well under $100, usually around $60 to $50. Bucks. And while they are a tiny little knife, their performance is insanely impressive. Okay, guys, that's all I got to say on the Topps MSK or Mini Scandi Knife. This one, of course, is in an awesome desert tan with black micarta handles, complemented with a little lanyard that I whipped up to make the knife just that much easier to hang on to. And overall, that's all I really have to say about this little guy. As always, guys, God bless, and I'm out.